Hey, my mother here, and welcome to a small Nomadicraft preview. And these frames might look familiar <laughs> because they were the preview of last time, the topic of last time. And just as a little recap, I've got a few uh, provider frames hooked up to chests with some items in there. And I've got a requester frame which hasn't been configured yet. And let's configure it to keep in some dirt. And there we go. It took uh, 10 dirt from the chest and put it in this chest. Now the interesting thing is, well, first thing you might have noticed is that this is much faster. Last time it took a second or five to uh, to let the drone figure out what to do. Now it's much faster. Another thing um, I've added is a E2 integration and I'll show you that right now. We can place down a frame and we can configure it to keep uh, well, 10 stone in there. And you might expect it to grab stone and put it in there and the AE system will pick it up and put it in the system. And this, and this is indeed the case until this chest is emptied out. Because this interface is supplied 10 stone, but it, it disappears again and then the drone will refill it right after. Now there's a more interesting thing you can do with it. Um, if we open the interface, you can see that when the frame is hooked up to a ME interface, another tab will appear the A2 integration tab. And when you enable this, it will use a channel of the system and it will... we can uh, cancel the request anyway. Uh, and if we look in the system, it has more items than it had a minute ago. If I disable the integration, you can see it has the, these items. If I take out the stone, just a few uh, AE components. But if I enable it, it will use the channel. And if we give it a few seconds, it will show up all the items that are supplied, that can be supplied by this logistic drone. So these items right in there. We've got 51 cobblestone. There we go, 51 cobblestone. And we can't take it out, I'm clicking here. But uh, it's craftable. If you uh, craft, we can ask it to craft. Or we can middle click it and say, I want 20. It will set the requester frame to request 20. And that will make the logistic drone take the items from the chest and put it in the ME interface. And after the crafting or requesting has been satisfied, it will remove the, the setting in the requester frame. And if we look, we still have 51 items, though 20 are in the system and 31 are still requestable. And this works for automation as well. If we grab another interface, we we can put it right there and we can ask it to keep 20 cobblestone in there. And that won't work yet. If we put in items, of course, that will work. But if we grab a crafting cart, it should work. So put it in. It should do a request in here. And there we go. It will grab the items and put them in here. And that means it also can be used in crafting tasks. So like in auto crafting, when cobblestone is used, it will ask the logistic drone to come over there. So that's about all I want to show you. Uh, I, uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Yui, uh, one of the maintainers of uh, Applied Logistics 2. He helped me to, well, make this happen. So thank you all for watching. And this will be in uh, the next update of Numeric Graph. And uh, see you all next time. Bye bye.